Hey guys, uh, we have another event on our hands here. It is for Moon Knight, who appears to be a very, very good character when paired with the Shadowlands uh, faction. And we have the same sort of milestones as we did for Red Guardian, as well as Anti-Venom. Um, this is a very common style of event where there's three different milestones. There's one for your alliance to do raiding and stuff with certain characters, which is nocturnal this time. And then there's your own Blitz and Arena stuff. And then as you get the orb for fragments from these milestones uh, you will of course unlock more milestones in the new moon one which is just for opening orbs so of course uh, in my typical fashion I've made a spreadsheet to track all of this stuff and make sure that you know I'm on track to get X amount of stars on moon night um, so let's switch over to that and I'll walk you through it real quick and uh, we'll talk about it so this is my milestone spreadsheet. You'll notice it looks exactly like my Red Guardian spreadsheet, but with different numbers because it is simply a copy and paste of that event. Um, you need, again, let's see. Oh, you need a little bit more orbs this time. You need, all, you need 70 orbs to finish it. So that is slightly different. Some of the numbers have changed. They changed some of the points required and stuff. So it's gonna be a little bit harder to finish, but honestly, I know I had way more orbs than I needed because since they've introduced Blitz Sim, uh, you can get tons and tons and tons of, of orb shards from just Blitz Simming. And to me, that was like one of the best ways to get any sort of, uh, my, uh, uh, any sort of uh, orbs and whatnot. <laughs> so what I, what I did here was, um, you know, I, I tracked all the stuff. I got the points totals down. Um, you need 41,600 to finish the milestone 30. And if you do that, you'll get 68 Moon Knight shards. You'll get a whole bunch of mini uh, stuff, some orange catalyst gear, purple catalyst gear, and, and gear credits and all that here and there. Um, there's a lot of good stuff in this. Uh, not a whole lot more than what was in Red Guardian. There's only a couple of things that really changed. You get a few more T15 mini uniques, and there's a couple of orbs for uh, tier 15 and tier 14 uh, from the armor. Armory, right those new orbs they introduced uh, if you scroll down a little bit you can put your current po point total for opening the orbs in here and so let's say I did you know uh, 10,000 right so the idea is it'll show up here in the sheet how far you've gotten through the milestones and down here it'll tell you how many orbs you've opened per day based on the number of orbs you've done and uh, you know the orbs needed per day to finish and then remaining orbs that you need to to finish the event so that's the idea there anything that's in light yellow you should be filling in yourself that's a manual call uh, and you can do it however you like um, so it's actually 70 oops just kidding <laughs> so lots of loot here um, you know it, it's just a matter of making sure that you get through uh, these other events over here so the next one over is the blitz and arena stuff this hasn't really changed the same point values of you know if you take characters into blitz you need to win those battles in order to get the points towards this milestone every day 1600 points though with blitz sim is a cakewalk honestly unless you have a really limited roster you should be able to win a lot of battles with nocturnal characters and if you do have a very light roster if you don't have a lot of characters unlocked try to focus on getting wins with the nocturnal characters even if it means that you have to lose down to lower tiers to win with them because those will be worth a lot more points in the long run than just simply winning uh, especially if you're doing sim instead of regular blitz battles um, this same thing applies here you get four shards a day for this uh, milestone and there are 10 days in the event so you'll get 40 shards from this one if you max it every day uh, I already maxed mine uh, just by doing about four blitz rotations and a couple of arena battles so I think it's fairly simple to do um, one other thing to point out down here um, so we have blitz point values for each one um, if you want you can put your total uh, wins at the start of the event and then track it at the end to see how many you you actually won throughout the event if you want it's just for fun um, another thing is three black Black Order characters are nocturnal tagged, so if you're doing Arena and your primary attack team is Black Order, you'll be able to continue using them and get a fair amount of points without having to try to work in some of those nocturnal characters you wouldn't normally use. So just FYI, um, or you can try to build a team of five around the nocturnal characters to get those extra points. Uh, either way, I didn't think that this was a very hard milestone the last event, nor this one, uh, to finish. But if you do that, uh, you'll actually get... Um, 10,500 shards for opening Moon Knight orbs, um, you know, throughout the event over the 10 days. And so that's about a little over five orbs, right? Uh, if we can move over to the next one, there is the Midnight Madness milestone, which is the Alliance-wide raid uh, 
points for using nocturnal characters in raid uh, this one is fairly straightforward you use nocturnal characters to win or lose in raids and you'll get a bunch of points um, I believe it's bugged at the moment. I don't know if they fixed it yet. I haven't checked. Uh, but the first time that I went in with a couple nocturnal characters and lost in a Doom Raid, just to sack a node because it worked out for me that way, I got eight points and uh, that was the wrong number. So I hope they fix this. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard. Um, but one thing to note is that this event is only 10 days long and the Red Guardian one was 12 days long. So big difference there. You still need the same number of points in order to finish this milestone. And I know this one will probably be the most difficult for a lot of alliances because you need a lot of participation in raids. You also need a lot of nocturnal characters to be used in raids. So be careful. Make sure that if you say you're doing like difficulty one or two in your Greek raids, try to use as many nocturnal characters as you can to knock out those nodes and get as much points as you can. Uh, it's going to be a lot harder to use those nocturnal characters in Doom Raids or even U.7.5 if you're really pushing hard. Just kind of depends on where you're at in the game and where your alliance is at. So try to do what you can. If you do tend to have a lot of raid energy left over at the end of the day or at the end of a raid, what you can do is take as many nocturnal characters as are eligible for the, the node in front of you, go in, uh, do a little bit of damage, and then quit out, and you'll get the points for it. So that just FYI, you can do that to get some free points, and then you don't have to, you know, kill yourself trying to figure out a team that will actually work for what you're trying to do or trying to kill. Uh, if you scroll down here a little bit, um, the point totals are here. Um, you know, if you were to use five event characters and, and you know, win or lose a raid battle, you should be getting 37 points. Um, but it, it's, you know, it's one of those things where uh, you, you shouldn't have to worry too much about this if your alliance is very active and doing raids and being a little bit cognizant of using nocturnal characters. You don't have to use five every time, but try to use three or four at least. There's a lot of good characters that are nocturnal. And then the... Um, milestone targets so uh actually i need to redo this because this is for 12 days i just realized not 10. um so anyway <laughs> uh i'll have to redo this part and so i'll update that so when you get to the sheet you can check that out uh, a couple other places we can get uh, event, event frags from is blitz milestones. So if you go in the Minerva blitz right now, you'll see that there are milestone fra uh, orb fragments in the milestones for Minerva. Uh, this totals up to 3000 and there should be three full character blitzes throughout this event. So we expect to get 9,000 frags from that, which is four and a half orbs. Uh, the other place that you can also get some, uh, uh, frags is ISO 8 energy so they added this to the nodes actually and initially this was bugged when the uh, when it when it went live it was not giving out the fragments for ISO 8 energy usage um, so if you did do that uh, if you've used it in the first hour or so put in a ticket tell them that you used a bunch of ISO 8 energy when the event went live and that you need to you know get the compensation or whatever they're gonna do to do remedy that and give people the shards um, but you do get 360 a day but just by natural energy generation if you don't let it cap be sure not to let it cap during this event. Uh, 3x80 refills is your free refills of energy every day. The 4x50 core refreshes is, you know, 120 energy for uh, the refreshes. And, and, you know, it's cheap to do, two, uh, you know, four of those a day. That's worth 480 energy. So that's a total of 1,080 energy. And so you get 15 shards per 12 energy. So if you multiply those two, then you're getting about 1,350 uh, shards per day from just your ISO 8 campaign if you max it every day uh, and then 10 days of the event you'll, should, you'll get about 13,500 shards from that so total all this up over here um, well we'll talk about blitz wins in a sec uh, but the idea is if you get you know four and a half from the blitz milestones uh, orbs we're talking full orbs here four and a half from that uh, ten and a half from the two bl event milestones so that's the ten days of uh, raiding and the arena blitz milestone um, if you look at this uh, you get another 6.75 from the ISO 8 energy assuming you don't buy more than 50 core refreshes if you do that'll help bolster your numbers a little bit um, but we're looking at all this and we're thinking or I'm thinking at least you know uh, <laughs> let's see uh, we need to know how much are we actually going to get from all this and so if I tally all that up I'm only getting about 57 orbs from all this plus what I have estimated here for the blitzing so right now uh, on one and a half rotations so far I've tracked it to be 
about a 68% drop chance for 50 uh, shards per Blitzwind, and then 28% chance for a 100 drop, and 3% chance for a 150, and then I haven't gotten anything above that yet. So my average drop per Blitzwind is about 67 shards. So if we take that and we put that in here as our average, and let's say I win 125 matches a day using Blitz Sim, well, and there's 10 days of blitzing, uh, then what's going to happen is I'm going to get, let's see, uh, let's see, 4.2 orbs uh, per day, and then, you know, times 10, that's really, you know, 42 orbs. So I actually have to step this up a bit if I want to meet what we said over here is 70 orbs at the bottom here. So that's going to be uh, tough, right? So I got to step this up a bit. So that means I got to get, you know, 175 bl blitz wins a day, right? That gets me a little bit over 70, right? So for me to get, say, 25 wins per rotation, that means I need to be doing seven rotations a day on top of all the other stuff and maxing all the other milestones. And so that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Especially on blitzes that I don't care about, like Minerva I already have at 7 stars. Um, it's just something to think about here, that this is a pretty high rate of blitzing needed in order to max these milestones. So be aware of that, this is just a preliminary estimate. I could be wrong here. Uh, if you start getting some good drops over here, uh, you can, you know, maybe you get a thousand drop. Well, that's going to bring up your numbers a little bit and bring down these over here. And now I'm like way above, right? So maybe uh, getting a couple lucky drops here and there might, you know, change this number enough to where you don't have to win you know quite that many rotations a day maybe five to six a day should do it um, but that's a lot <laughs> that's a lot of blitzing that's a lot of wins too making sure you don't lose any or at least not much and it's a lot of work so be aware of that be aware that you got to be locked in for 10 days to get through this event and do it at a reasonable pace um, so just just keep that in mind so i'm going to put this down to 150 and I'm going to assume that this number is going to go up a little bit as I get some higher drops here and there. But they're, of course, going to be very low chance, but it'll bring up the average quite a bit. And I, I would guess it'll be a little bit better. Uh, on my sheet here, I can actually flip over to my Red Guardian information just to see how that went. And just to give you an idea, we actually had a 78% chance of 50 drops. We had a 15% chance of 100, a 5% chance of 150, a 1.5% chance of 375. And during that entire event, I never tracked a thousand or two thousand, and that was probably six rotations worth. Um, so it was a fairly low chance of getting any of these. But even then, I was getting 68 shards per uh, per drop on average, right? So I'm just looking back at the historical information here. 67 so far? Uh, maybe that is on point. Maybe they didn't really adjust the drop rates. I don't know yet. So this is very early. There's not enough information here to really say whether or not they've adjusted it very much um, but it is something to be considering um, so i'm going to shoot for at least six rotations a day to maximize my blitzes and i'll if i can do a seven and eighth i'll do them but for the most part i'm going to shoot for six a day and uh on screen blitz though if it's during this event i don't think it does cross over this event um i guess we'll see i'm not i, I gotta look at the schedule but um it would be really nice to have at least somebody useful for one of these blitzes so that I can not be beating my head against the wall for nothing. So we'll see. I do like Moon Knight a lot, though, so I do want to get a lot of his uh, his stuff. So And, uh, yeah, so we've got uh, some other options here. If you buy orbs from the offers, you can stick that here. The yellow ones are up to you to change if you'd like. Uh, if you buy them with cores, I believe they're 400 cores apiece. We'll see. And if we happen to get any compensation from, say, a mishap right you know like uh the energy thing that started this maybe they'll send everybody one orb as compensation i don't know that would be nice it would be a start i think everybody would be happy with that um and then they don't have to go back through and figure out exactly how much energy people spent i mean come on that's a waste of time so uh other thing to consider um just i was doing a little bit of comparison between this and the uh Red Guardian event. Um, so we did get, you know, four blitzes during Red Guardian because it was 12 days long, uh, and they gave us 3,700 uh, shards from the milestones for each one of those blitzes. So we were actually getting about 50% more shards from the blitzes in his event. Uh, we were also getting a little bit less raid or 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 we we're getting a little less shards, a thousand less for the entire 10 days of raid event stuff, but we were getting way more from the Blitz and Arena fragments, uh, which that milestone gave us another three orbs total. 
So a little bit of a difference. Uh, and then the other factor, of course, is the length of the event. So the 10 days versus 12 days. Um, if you're in sort of a mid-tier alliance, you know, this is something you really got to consider. Just because you made the milestones last time doesn't mean you'll make it this time because two days less is a lot different. Um, that's, you know, a significant amount of time less to meet that 93,000 point mark for your raids. So keep that in mind. Um, if you're if you're down there you can use the tracker at the bottom here uh, i'll update this don't worry i gotta remove the bottom two days um, but the idea is to show you know where you need to be each day with your alliance and you can put your points down here and then show what your average is and how you're doing um, i'll update that at later but that's it for the uh, Moon Knight uh, spreadsheet. If you'd like to use it, you can make a copy. I'll put a link in the description and all that. Um, just last thing to do here, because I got a few of these orbs. Let's see what happens when I open them and see if there's anything good. Uh, where are they? Down here. Eternal Knight orbs. I got four to open. So let's see how we do. Uh, hopefully get some Moon Knight. Oh, that's a nice one right off the bat. Wow. All right. Four percent chance. All right. All right, that's pretty badass. There's a five. Whoa! Come on, Moon Knight. There's a three. All right, and a Thanos. <sighs> Thanos. And yes, they are 400 apiece uh, if you buy them manually. So you could always use that as a catch-up mechanism later. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, that's pretty good luck there. So I'm, I'm, you know not feeling too bad about that that's pretty good my moon knight is very small right now still working on him still got some other stuff ahead of me also saving gold for later but uh yeah that's pretty sweet so as i finish those of course i can open these milestone orbs i get a few more shards here as i go and uh that's real nice so we are on our way so now that i got 2400 points i can go back to my spreadsheet over here and go over here to the bottom left see this yellow one right here i can put 2400 right because i opened four orbs and tell me i opened four orbs per day so far that's my tracking average uh my projected orbs per day right now is 13.26 which of course is unrealistic but that's because we're only through a partial part uh, of the first day and uh you know i probably won't open that many every day it'll 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 track itself down automatically as long as you keep updating this and then orbs needed per day uh, looks like six and a half and then uh, i actually need to update this this will be 70 instead of uh, 63. i forgot i hard coded those uh, i need to actually i need to make a so I, I need to make a hard reference for that for event uh, max milestones i'll do that now but anyway thanks for watching i appreciate everybody who uh, stayed along for this entire video and uh, get a copy of the spreadsheet check it out uh, use it to your own advantages and if you'd like you can also look down here at the uh, uh, at the very bottom you can't see it on the uh, uh, on the video but there is an RG event which is Red Guardian event as well as AV event if you'd like to look back at what those events had in them and what the rewards were uh, you're welcome to go compare them so they're very similar for the most part it's not too much different um, but we did add they did add more G15 minis to the main milestones which is nice and then those or armory orbs which will help uh, help people get through to G15 a little faster so anyway thanks for watching